In this video, I'll be showing you how to create dynamic groups in Azure Active Directory. So if I go to my Microsoft 365 Admin Center, I, have the, I actually have the option to create groups from here. So for, for example, if you want to create a group, you can go to Add a Group. And here you have the option to actually create um, Office 365, recommend, which is recommended by Microsoft, the distribution group which you use by email, your mail enable security or a security group. But the problem is this, from the Office 365 Admin Center, I don't have the option to actually include the dynamic groups from here. So that's why we actually advise you, if you want to create a group, don't create it from the of uh, Microsoft 365 Admin Center. You, you, you actually, it will, it will be preferable to create it from the, from the Azure Active Directory. So from your um, of Microsoft 365 Admin Center, just click on Azure Active Directory and you'll be redirected to this portal. So in your Azure Active Directory, here you have the option to actually create a group. So click Groups and here we're going to create a new group. So my here I'm going to create a security. You have the option to create a security group or Office 365 group. So you don't have the option to create a like, distribution list from the like the one you have in your 365 admin center. So I'm going to create a security group and I'm going to call this group actually sales. So which means this group is going to be for members of the sales department. And here we're just going to assign. I'm going to leave the, the description empty. So on that assign we have different option. Either we want, we want to assign users to this group, which we are going to do that manually, or we want to actually create a dynamic user or device. A dy dynamic users means that we are going to actually create a logic that we, which means when a user belongs to a particular category, automatically the user will be joined to this group. Or we can actually create a device if the device whose name is belongs to this specific group or host name, automatically the device will be joined to this group. But what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to use the dynamic user. So I'm going to add, just click add a query here. Yeah. And yeah, I'm going to add an expression. It's going to be and. So I'm going to choose the property. So what I'm going to do with the property, I'm going to choose if the department and I'll choose an operator um, is contains else contains or is equal let me just say contains sales so which means if we are creating a user we need to make sure that the department of that user is actually um we actually include the sales if not the user will not be joined to this um, group automatically here you can see the rule syntax which is user dot department minus contains is going to be sales so just click save and here I click create. So I'm going to create two user. One, I, the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to create a user from my Office 365 admin center. Here I'm going to create, uh, let me just go to my active users. And I'm going to add a user from here. I'm going to add a user. So I'm going to give this user, let me just give this user a name. I'm going to give this user, it's going to be Tina. Let me just give Johnson. And the display name will be Tina. Johnson. The user's name will be Tina dot Johnson. So I'm going to leave, choose this domain name, which is a registered domain name, and I'm going to choose the password here, and I'm going to set require the users to change the password. No, it's not necessary. Just click next. So the license, I'm going to assign Office 365 license to this user, and as well as an enterprise mobility security to the user, and I click next. So optional, we have the optional to actually look, look at the profile. So under the department here, so what I want to do is I want to say that this user belongs to the department of sales. So I don't want to just add anything just to show you how it works. So I'm going to click next and then finish. Let me just close this. And so right now I'm going to switch to my active directory users and computer where I'm going to create a new user. So let me just go to my... Um, organization unit which I created especially for this and I go to users and I'll go to unknown admin user so I'm going to create a new user which of course the user will also belong to the sales department let me just use a copy of this user so I'm going to call this user it's going to be I'm going to be Meg and then Johnson so his log is the login name for the user is going to be Meg dot Johnson and click next so here I'm just going to change, let me just enter a new password for this user. 
click next and click finish so after creating a user so you need to double click on the user and then go to actually to under the user's property let's just go to under um, organization and here we're going to tap the department is going to be sales so when you tap the sales in the department of the user then click apply and click ok so because i'm using um, azure active directory i try to sync my domain to my office 365 or to my azure so what i'm going to do actually i'm going to actually run a powershell script to actually sync all the the new users have the, the new user i just created to office 365 because it may take like up to like 30 minutes sometime maybe an hour for the sync to take place but i'm going to force the sync let me just say a day so let me just say sync and it's going to be a policy type it's going to be initial so which means i want to actually sync this to force the sync to azure active directory immediately so let me just close this actually and after doing the sync let me go to my um office 365 environment and here when i go to my azure active directory and i go to users and here we can see that that was the mag account i just created in my on premises has been actually populated in active in azure active directory because of the initial sync i just did but what i'm going to look for right now let me go back to my azure active directory and go to groups in groups here is the sales the, is the sales group which of course you can see the membership is actually is actually dynamic which, me, which means that every single user i created or every single users or groups that contains the sales in the in the description in the department automatically the, the the user will be added to this group so when i go to members here we can see we have two members with tina and meg so this this users will actually automatically join to this group because their department in the in the dynamic um option i created i just i, I include that when the user belongs to the department sales automatically they will be joined to this group Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson. And please, if this video has been of any help to you, don't forget to like my YouTube channel and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT-related video. So if you have any questions, you can well send me an email on the link below. I'm, I'm also going to leave my LinkedIn in this video. So you can as well go to my LinkedIn and send me a private message and I'll reply to you as quick as possible. Thank you very much and goodbye.